Hello everyone. I am going to solve one numerical on steam in this session. That is from the video question paper of March 2022, question number 2A. The problem is that determine the density of 1 kg of steam initially at a pressure of 10 bar absolute having a dryness fraction of 0.78. If 500 kJ of heat is added at constant pressure, determine the condition and internal energy for the final state of steam. Given specific heat of superheated steam is equal to 2.1 kJ per kg Kelvin. This numerical is on steam and it is having the two parts. One is initial state and another one is final state. For the initial state, we have the condition of 10 bar pressure and the dryness fraction of 0.78 and for that we need to find out the density. The second case that is for the final state after uh, addition of the 500 kJ of the heat it reaches to the final state at the constant pressure the pressure remains same at the 10 bar we have to determine its condition and internal energy at the final state of the steam and for that the specific volume of the superheated steam is given okay then now we'll take that is a given data the given data is that one mass is given 1 kg pressure p is given 10 bar absolute dryness fraction x is equal to 0.78 for initial state heat is added heat added is q is given 500 kilojoule specific heat of superheated steam cps is given 2.1 kilojoule per kg kelvin or to find here for initial state of steam we need to find the density rho for final state of steam we need to find out the condition of steam that is the temperature of the steam that is whatever may be the temperature and second one internal energy we have to find out to find this one we have to use the steam table and for that we have to find the first we have to find the properties of steam such as specific volume enthalpy and saturation temperature at 10 bar pressure using steam table okay i will refer here the steam table this is a pressure based steam table as we already know from the previous numericals that this is a pressure based first column is a pressure and this is a saturation temperature 179.9 and the specific volume of the dry steam 19430 and sensible heat 762.6 and latent heat 2013.6 and these are written here the specific volume of the dry steam 0.19430 meter cube per kg, sensible heat 762.6 kJ per kg, HFC latent heat 2013.6 kJ per kg, dryness fraction 179.9 degrees Celsius. Then after that, we will take the first initial state. For that we need to find out the density. To find the density, it is necessary to find the specific volume at 10 bar pressure and dryness fraction of the 0.78. If you find the specific volume, we can find the density. Then the specific volume of the wet steam is given as that is the specific volume of the wet steam phi is equal to dryness fraction multiplied with the specific volume of the dry steam that is equal to dryness fraction is 0.878 multiplied with the this specific volume of the dry steam that is 0 0.19430. This will have that is 0.151554 meter cube per kg. Therefore, density can be given as the density is the kg per meter cube, mass per volume. The specific volume is the volume per mass. Therefore, the density is reciprocal of the specific volume. Therefore, density can be given as the 1 by phi. That is 1 by 0.151554. That is density can be given as 6.598 kg per meter cube for the initial state. This initial state the whatever the density determination is completed next we will take for the final state of steam final state of the steam we have to take uh, to find that one the enthalpy of the final state of the steam we have to take to find the enthalpy of the final state of the steam first we need to find out the enthalpy of wet steam the enthalpy of wet steam uh, if you find then we uh, add uh, the heat addition to that enthalpy of the wet steam will have the enthalpy of the final state of the steam. Now we will take the enthalpy of the wet steam 
that is a sensible heat plus of dryness fraction multiplied with the latent heat that is 762.6 plus of 0.78 multiplied with the 2013.6 this will have the 233.2 kilojoule per kg then enthalpy of after the heat addition the enthalpy after the heat addition this is the h the enthalpy of the wet steam plus of the heat addition heat added the heat whatever added is there is a q the 233.2 enthalpy of the wet steam plus of heat added is 500 kilojoule per kg then enthalpy after the heat addition we got here 2833.2 kilojoule per kg then this is the enthalpy of the steam at the given condition then then we have to compare this enthalpy after the heat addition with the dry saturated steam enthalpy okay then to find that one we have to take the enthalpy of the dry saturated steam at 10 bar pressure at 10 bar pressure enthalpy of dry saturated steam is given as hg is equal to hf plus hfg sensible heat plus latent heat that is equal to 762.6 plus of 2013.6 that is equal to 2776 Point 0.2 kilojoule per kg and this value enthalpy of the dry saturated steam is less than that of the enthalpy of the steam after the heat addition therefore the steam whatever is there it will be having enthalpy more than that of the dry saturated steam therefore it is a, in the condition of superheated steam that is written here since the enthalpy of the steam after the heat addition is greater than the enthalpy of the dry saturated steam at the same pressure the steam is superheated the steam is superheated therefore the superheated temperature of the steam is found as follows the temperature what we are going to find that is the condition of the superheated steam okay to find that one we have to use the enthalpy equation of the superheated steam that is equal to h sup is equal to h up plus h up g plus of cps t sup minus t s and H sup whatever is there this is the enthalpy after the heat addition what we got here and this is substituted this one H up and H up C already we have taken from the steam table and these two values are substituted plus of 2.1 and this T sup well we don't know that one what temperature it is reached after the heat addition we don't know that one that we need to find out and this is the saturation temperature 179.9 after the Simplification of this equation, we got here that T sup is equal to 207 degrees Celsius. This is the condition of the final state of the steam. The first part in the uh, first one value in the second part of the problem. The next one here for the final state of the steam only. The second one what is asked the internal energy of the superheated steam. And that is given by U sup is equal to H sup minus P into V sup and here we have to take that one uh, by taking the whatever the uh, H sup already whatever value we are having that we can take or calculate once again here and V sup we need to find out by using the relation of the superheated steam and H sup HF plus HFG plus of CPS T sup minus TS and this we are going to substitute HF and HFG and speak it of the superheated steam and this is the superheated steam temperature minus of the saturation temperature that we have the h sup is equal to 2833.2 already we have calculated in the previous part also and then we know v sup by v g is equal to sup by t s this relations for the superheated steam therefore v sup is equal to v g multiplied with the t sup by t s and therefore we have the v g 0.19430 and 207 is the t sup and 179.9 is TS saturation temperature. Then we will have the V sup here 0.223.6. And this V sup and H sup, if you substitute in the internal energy equation here, then we will have the internal energy of the final state of the steam. That is a 2833.2 into 10 raised to 3 in terms of joule per kg we have taken. As the pressure also we are going to take in terms of the Pascal. The 10 into 10 raised to 5U that is a 10 bar pressure that is in terms of the pascal we have taken and the specific volume is 0.22356 meter cube per kg 
then after the calculation of this equation we will have the internal energy of the final state of the steam is 2609.64 kJ per kg like this we have determined the final state of the steam in terms of the superheated temperature and the internal energy of the final state of the steam for the final state of the steam you subscribe my channel and you can watch the more videos of the these numericals and thank you for watching this video